Hello, Aries. So great to be with you. I hope you're doing well. Today we are going to be doing a love reading for Aries. Hello, my Aries out there. Um, this will be timeless, so it doesn't go by um, the physical time, but it timing, but it goes by the universal time. It goes by how it resonates with you. Sending blessings to you all. Hope everyone is doing well uh, internationally here in the USA and all over the world. Okay, if you're new to my channel, on this channel what we talk about is love and relationships through the tarot. Okay, so if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing. I would love for you to subscribe and remember to click that notification bell so you can get the latest videos that I upload. If anybody has any requests on different types of videos or you want me to do or different topics you want me to do, let me know. Put it in the comment section. I love to switch switch up things, but I would like to know, get an idea of what you would be interested in. Okay, so put it in the comment section for me. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's get started. I will be starting out with the Queen of Moon Oracle just to get uh, the energies that are around you. Also, the energy oracle cards as well. So let's start out. For you, Aries, I'm so excited about your reading. Let's see what the messages will be. Oops, upside down. And that is release. Release. Let's see what else we're going to get here. We got release. So, yeah, it's time for you to release some energy. Ah, this is trust. Okay, finally I picked a different card trust okay so we got release and trust Come on. what else does Aries need to know okay resistance all right so we have release trust and resistance okay you know, I like to dive deep on these cards just to get the meaning of them, the full meaning. So we got appreciation, caring connections. Ah, okay, that's good. And fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, the fifth chakra. You know, I was getting this mixed up with the heart chakra, but it is the voice. It is the throat chakra. It's speaking your truth. The fifth chakra is speaking your truth. Okay, so that is coming out, speaking. All right, so we are here. The energies that are around you, Aries, is release. And the message from release is let it go. It is time to release anything that does not serve you. Old negative habits do not engage you anymore as the payoff is not enough. You are ready to make room for bigger, brighter, more aligned things. That is for release and Let's move forward into trust. Trust yourself. Develop trust and joy will follow. You can rely on your own capabilities. Begin to plan carefully for the future. So this is about trusting yourself, trusting your abilities. Okay, so you sounds like so far you are getting prepared for something. And this is resistance. Oh, wow. So let's explore what is the message. Familiarize yourself with how resistance manifests for you. The overt and the covert. If you continue to have doors slammed in your face, turn around. There will normally be an open door. Procrastination is just another kind of fear. 
Move forward with confidence and persistence. That is the message there. Um, so those are the energies that are around you. Trust who you are. Release and resistance. Okay? And we also have appreciation. Caring connections and your throat. Speak in your voice. Speak up. Speak up. Uh, you you have gifts that are inside you here, um, Aries, and that's what I'm going to say. Um, release your fear. Release things that are holding you back, and get ready for for a new horizon here. Appreciate what what's around you and use what you have to get what you want. Um, caring connections. There's going to be someone that is going to show how they feel about you. Okay, so we have caring connections. But speak your voice. You have the angel Gabrielle for your throat chakra. So your guardian angel Gabrielle is going to be guiding you in regards to what to say. Uh, to manifest what you need to manifest in your life. So let's go on. We have the Hermit here, Aries. Uh, Virgo is coming out. So there could be a Virgo. Um, but this is about going in your closet and really um, focus on what you're trying to do. You could be working on a project here. Working on a project you have abundance here with the Nine of Cups. The wish card is coming out um, behind you. There's so many things you want to do. A lot of gifts here that I see. A lot of things, a lot of emotions that you're connected to. It's just not one thing. It's many things. It's sort of like it looks like these are your awards, your achievements behind you. Um, but with this caring connection, it shows that someone is in your someone has shown interest in you let's go a little bit deeper hmm. seven of pentacles something you're nurturing you're building your environment something you're focused on and you have the Empress. So a lot of abundance here. A lot of things that you're working on, Gemini. This could be, um, this is why you're the hermit here. Because you've been in your secret place working and, and working tirelessly. Um, saving up your coins. Um, preparing um, here. You're the Empress, the sensual goddess, you know. Um, but also... There could, this is to me, it's a, a timing card because it's the nine month card. But something is about, you're about to give birth to something that's really great. And we see the Ten of Cups, a happy family here. So there also could be, um, you could be possibly in a long term relationship, a relationship already. Or if you're single, you be, could be going in this direction, achieving that relationship, marriage, engagement that's coming up for you. So this is something that you're working on most definitely with the Queen of Pentacles. These two look alike. The Empress, but also you're concerned about your career, your just your personal space, your environment, things that are physical near you. But there will be an opportunity for you of love and you will start to look at things from a different perspective as well. I feel like somebody is going to be coming in your life where you're going to start looking at things in a different way. Um... Page of Swords, new ideas, new information that is coming in. And you have the Knight of Swords that is here. Also, Air Sign, um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, also coming in as well. So this is someone coming in, and, and, it, and it, it looks like it's going to start out with a lot of communication 
here. Oh, we got a sneaky one here with the Seven of Swords. So, a little bit of something you got to keep your eye open to. Yeah, with the Seven of Swords here, and then you have the Six of Wands, which speaks about victory and success. So you got to watch out for people that is on the outside. This energy is kind of tricky. So you definitely got to watch out for people that not may not be in your corner and may smile in your face but not truly be your friend. Um, so yeah, they may be envious of your success as well. Um, what I'm getting, your success in every area of your life, whether it's relationship, whether it's love, but there's a lot of success here. Uh, you've been working hard with the Nine of Pentacles. Look here, you got the Seven of Pentacles. You got, you're looking at your money. It feels like a career uh, opportunity, work, money, reading, but it, it feels like somebody has a business that they're working on. You know, very successful. I'm seeing here and you're still working on stuff so I see someone also that could be envious of your success as well um, but you have a partner here that you're working together or you will be working together so there is going to be someone coming in um, with you that will share your goals Share your vision, share your dreams. You want people to be excited for you, but the ones that act like they're not, watch out. Honeymoon is coming in. Okay, so there could be an engagement coming in here, uh, Aries, getting to know each other. Looks like someone new is coming in as well. Give your relationship a chance. I don't know what relationship is that, but that'll resonate with you somehow um, in a reconciliation some of you are going to meet someone new bottom line okay some of you don't want to reconcile with anyone old I clearly I clearly feel that um, because not everybody can be on the same page as you I see a lot of success here a hard-working person a person um, likes to achieve their goals but not everybody is going to be on the same page because you are the way you are uh, Aries you got to watch out for people that are very jealous <clears throat> very jealous of you even if it's a partner you got to watch out for that here but you are going to find someone to grow with um, and that's what I see in the caring connections here um, worth waiting for and then you got the deception so I'm kind of feeling you got to be very careful at, for certain people who may not be in your corner and you know who they are you know, when you want someone to be happy for you and then they sound like they're not or they criticize you a lot, that could be a sign. Um, but this is going to be something that you will be very, very successful and you will find your true love. Well, this concludes the reading. If this reading resonates with you, give the video a thumbs up. Also, you can tell me how by leaving a comment in the comment section also, you can share the video. Until next time, God bless you.